Hallelujah. It's another beautiful, wonderful day that God has made. And I want you to know that you are beautiful because God has created you so. I want you to know that the plan of God for your life is that you be blessed. The plan of God for you is that you be fruitful, that you multiply, that you do great exploits, and that you be successful. So never think less of yourself. It doesn't matter what the situation looks like. Confess positively, believe and have faith in God that is working everything out for your good and in your favor. May goodness and mercy follow you. To everyone watching at this moment, the blessings of the Lord is released upon you even as we are going to read in Deuteronomy 28 today that talks about the blessings of the Lord as we hearken to the voice of the Lord, as we trust and obey him, those blessings will come upon each and everyone and will overtake us in the name of Jesus. We are decreeing and de declaring into our day, into our month, into our week, into our year and into our days that our days will be fruitful and tr all through our days that we carry God's blessings and not his curses in the name of Jesus because his plans for us are always good and we'll be looking at the book of Deuteronomy 28 today and it says and it shall come to pass from verse 1 if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and do his commandments which he com which I command you this day that the Lord will set thee on high above all nations. That is the plan of God for you. That is the will of God for you. That is what God wants for you. That you be set on high. Concerning everything that you trust your hand to do. Concerning everything that you set your heart to do. Concerning everything that you lay your hands upon. God wants you to be set on high. He wants you to be above and not beneath. He wants to be, you to be ahead and not behind. God wants you to take charge of whatever it is that you are doing wants you to succeed and to have good success and i pray that that will be your portion in the name of jesus as we all receive the grace to do the bidding of the lord to do the will of the lord and to walk in the ways of the lord i pray that the blessings of the lord shall come upon us in the name of jesus and verse 2 says and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee god wants us to be overwhelmed with these blessings when you are overwhelmed with this blessing all what comes from your mouth will be shouts of praise and testimonies. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. He says, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord, these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. Blessings that you do not even work for. May they begin to come upon you and overtake you as you hearken to the voice of the Lord. As you walk in his ways and do his will, his blessings will overtake you, overtake your children, overtake your children's children, overtake your family. You will dwell in goodness. You will eat in plenty in the name of Jesus. And verse 3 says, Blessed shall thou be in the city and in the field. You will be blessed in whatever area of your life, whatever you do, whether you have a career, you have a business, whether you are planning to do something, whether you are, you, you are trading. The, the, the word of the Lord is coming to you today that blessed shall be, you be blessed, that you be blessed beyond even your thinking or your imagination. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Wherever you go, whatever you do, say in the, say that it is in, is in the city or it is in the field, you will be blessed. That shall be your portion. And verse 4 says, Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. Every child that will come out from your womb shall be blessed. Those that are out already, the Lord will bless them. The Lord will lead them in the path of truth, in the path of greatness, in the path of righteousness. He said, even the fruit of the ground and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of the sheep. That means it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you are a, a trader, if you have a career, if you have a business or you are looking to do something, God is ready to bless you. I pray that that blessing comes upon you. None of us will miss our blessings in the name of Jesus. And I pray that as you go by your day and in your week, the hand of the Lord be upon you. No evil, no hurt, no harm will come near you. You will not trade that loss. In the name of Jesus, whatever you set your hand to do shall prosper. Nothing shall cut your life short. Nothing shall tamper with your destiny. Your destiny and that of your children and your household will not be truncated. In the name of Jesus, the peace of the Lord ah, rest upon you and your household. And the hand of the Lord rest mightily upon you. May your request be granted. May all that you are trusting God for healing, salvation, deliverance, blessing. May they be your portion in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. 
Thank you for answering our prayers today. We worship and we exalt your holy name. In Jesus' powerful and most precious name, we have prayed. And everybody says, Amen. Thank you so much for joining in today's prayer. As we command our morning and our day, I pray that blessings like never before be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Sorrow, affliction is far from you. Thank you for watching. If you are not part of this family, like share and subscribe to be a part of the family subscribe and put your notification bell and god bless you as you do so don't ever forget that jesus loves you so much and he cares about you and until i come your way stay blessed and keep basking in god's glory shalom thank you for watching